If you're about to take your microeconomics final exam, this is why this perfectly competitive firm should shut down. And before I explain this right here, if you want to see where you stand for your actual exam, go take my free practice exam in my bio. I've packed it with 25 of the most common types of problems I see professors put on their exams. All right, now with that being said, we first got to pinpoint here the MR equals MC point. That's the profit maximizing point that this firm should produce at no matter what. That occurs right here. And we'll say that that's at three units of output. And they're selling them at a price of, we'll say two bucks. Now from here, if we want to determine the profit that they're generating, remember we'd go vertically from here and see where we intersect the ATC curve. That happens right here at, we'll say a of 10 bucks. So at its profit maximizing point, this firm is already going to be generating a loss. So they're selling three units at two bucks a pop, but the average total cost of each unit is $10. Just because they're generating a loss though, doesn't mean that they should necessarily shut down. They should only shut down if the price that they're selling each good at is below average variable cost. In this case it is, because average variable cost happens right here at three units. We'll see that correlates to a price of four bucks. How I'd explain this is that this firm is literally generating a loss by making the units. Because the cost of goods per unit is four bucks. Like if we're talking about a lemonade stand, each cup of lemonade in this case, like the materials to make it, costs four bucks. But they're only selling them for two. So literally they're losing money by selling this good without even considering the fixed cost that they're taking a loss off. That being when we add in the six bucks to bring in the average total cost up to $10 per unit. So now with this considered, you'd want to temporarily shut down your lemonade stand is you'd be better off by just selling no units and solely taking a loss on the fixed cost here. And I just want to visualize this here with some areas here. This rectangle right here, actually I'll make it in red. This rectangle right here is the fixed cost of our firm. We're going to lose this money no matter what. It has to do with the average fixed cost curve. Well, I'm just going to draw it like this right here, AFC. These losses are going to happen no matter what. Where it becomes silly for us to continue outputting units happens in this operating loss triangle. Sorry, rectangle. Because we don't need to lose this money. It's not like it's a fixed loss for us that's gonna happen no matter what. We're losing this money by outputting these three units. The loss has to do with the cost of goods that goes into producing the units, the variable cost of them. And this is why when price falls below ABC, we should shut down our firm temporarily and wait for market conditions to improve for the marginal cost to rise above this $4 ABC. It's not a permanent shutdown, it's a temporary one. A firm will only shut down permanently if over the long run, the average total cost is greater than the price. Because in that sense, they just be signing themselves up to lose money if they continue to operate over the long run. All right, with that being said, if you like the way I explain microeconomics and literally need to learn this class in one night, we can do that. Check out the microeconomics cram kit in my bio. I've packed together all the concepts and practice problems that I'd walk through with you if I were your tutor the night before your exam.